Good morning, everybody. How you going? Look at those gum trees over there flowering. I don't know if you can see them in this camera because they might be a bit far away, but all the gum trees are starting to flower down here, which is lovely. Uh, Ziggy and I, the last few days, have been doing some work in the power room, and there's all the wires we took out. They're all uh, six mil squared, by the way. I know some of you will go, oh, those wires are too small, but they're actually not. Um, wire sizes look different. But what we did was we combined a few strings in the combiner box up there, upgraded the wires from uh, six mil squared to 16 millimeter squared and we shifted the Victron up higher and put some uh, because we combined another string into it which was G string um, I had to put slightly heavier wire on there so we've gone to 16 mil squared there and we've gone to 25 mil squared on the output and currently at uh, this time of day, which is r roughly, you know, 8.30 in the morning, we're already putting in 31 amps. This one's putting in 21 amps. Now, what we did was, we took the solar off this, this unit. This is our backup inverter just here, okay? Off this unit here. So all it's got on it now is the generator. Um, so it's basically just charges the battery bank off the generator. And it's not wired in as a backup or anything yet. I'm still waiting on an electrician to come and do some work here. Um, on the Midnight Classic, which is that one there, we've got 3.7 kilowatts of solar on the Victron we've got four kilowatts of solar and on the main inverters we've got 1.5 kilowatts on each inverter okay so there's the two main inverters down there and they've each got 1.5 kilowatts on them which is a total of three kilowatts now um, as you can see, I haven't got all my eggs in one basket, so I can afford to lose two units and still recharge my batteries in summertime. But uh, we've got a total of 10.7 kilowatts on the roof. Um, and that powers our house through summer and winter. Uh, last last year we used a total of 20 litres, a little bit less than 20 litres of fuel when we had a few really, really bad days um, to charge the batteries. But otherwise, uh, this system is um, really, really, really good. Really, really good. Now I'm down south and we find that 10.7 kilowatts is more than enough uh, for winter and it's also enough for summer because in summer of course I've got uh, uh, on most days I've got little air, air conditioner on um, we usually just leave that on automatic so it runs 24 hours a day and keeps the house at 27 degrees inside and when it gets really hot, and we have had some a lot of heat, uh, we had a lot of days that broke records, I turn the big national on, that huge um, air conditioner there, which takes an immense amount of power because it's a very, very, very old one. It's probably older than most of you watching this video. Um, and that came out of Calabaran Hospital. They had two of those units. 
and I, I scored one of them. So, we tend to do all right. Um, we can keep the house nice and cool. I still haven't put the covers back on here. That's next. But, what we, uh, we're looking at doing a bit later on, so I can um, do a little bit more monitoring, is probably replacing this midnight with another Victron, which is why we mounted that higher. I haven't made up my mind on that yet. Um, and the only reason I'm looking at it, doing it, is because I can just plug the new Vectron into the um, Servo GX computer here and put it online. Uh, let me go get some keys and we'll have a look at the uh, wire sizes because it's, it's really hard to judge. A lot of people are having problems judging wire si sizes through a camera. Um, and they, you know, the number of comments, oh, your wires are too small, because they got absolutely no idea. Um, like, obviously, uh, the wires going to the units, well, these ones here, just for example, they're um, 2 aught, okay? Or I think it's 75 millimeter squared or something like that. And then underneath here, I've got absolutely massive wires that go out to this uh, bus bar and then out to the units. All right, so let me go and uh, grab a key and I'll pull some wires out of here and show you the actual wire size. I'll be back. Okay. All right, now this six mil squared solar cable wire down here is rated for a maximum of 30 amps. So we had to replace some of that. <coughs> and what we replaced it with, okay, was um, this one here. All right, and they're tinned. And they're 16 millimeter squared. Okay, that's that is what we replaced all the wires in here and going to this unit here. I haven't done this unit because it's um, sized right for the load. Okay and the 25 mil squared oh this is also 16 mil squared a single a single one this is australian made bosweld powerflex welding cable um, 16 millimeter squared okay that's a very nice um, pure copper, low oxygen, very flexible. So what we put into the bottom what we put in to the bottom, this one here, okay, is 25 millimeter squared cable. There it is there. Buzzweld welding cable, 25 millimeter square, squared. Um, again, Australian made, very nice, very flexible. And for the main, the main run underneath all the fuses and going all the way back to the battery bank, we've used this cable. Really, really high uh, co uh, copper wire count. Um, has this got any writing on it? No, 
Uh, I've obviously used a bit with riding, but all right, there's a 35 mil squared one next to this one. So, um, when you're uh, commenting on cable size and all oh, that's too short, that's too small, whatever, um, I'm not new at this. I've been around the block a few times. I built this system myself. Um, with the help of uh, an electrician that does all my AC wiring but all the DC I do myself I do it to, to spec um, and it works great it works absolutely lovely so that's um, the cable size and the amount of wiring I have the, 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 the wiring sizes and the amount of uh, solar I have on the roof of my house alright so that's a, a quick look at the solar side of things of course you have all seen the batteries there's 24 of them there they are there they're thousand amp hour batteries. Um, they're from what dates on those? 2016. And they're still performing like brand new. Absolutely beautiful battery. Absolutely beautiful. And they're each one of these is a thousand amp hours in 250 four cells so there's four strings of 250 amp hours each and they go down the bottom there and combine but yeah so that's a look at the system a look at how much solar I've got and that's how much solar it takes me to run my house all year that's winter and summer it's only when I get two or three days of really bad weather in winter with very little sunshine that I actually need to start the generator which is why we only used 20 litres of fuel last year alright so that's what it looks like we've got the inverter the midnight classic the Victron and then the main inverters are down the bottom there and it's all about redundancy when I build a, my system it's all about redundancy so I can a hell of a lot could go wrong in here and I can still power my house and um, after the I get I'm having um, some switches made and some other things and we're doing a bit of rewiring in here um, then when we go on holidays if these inverters break down it will automatically switch to this inverter here after three minutes so um, but you'll see more on that later on okay but for now it is what it is all right I hope you enjoyed this little video just just letting us know how much solar's where and giving those that haven't seen them a look at the batteries I'm pretty, uh, we, we like the way the system's working we don't have to do much to it like I said we combined strings B and G uh, we put B on the uh, classic and we put G on the Victron and uh, they're all combined in that combiner box up there we upgraded the wires to uh, handle the extra load over that distance and shifted the Victron up a bit higher 
upgraded its wires so it could handle the extra current. Um, yesterday I came out, this was putting about 55 amps in as long as this one. Uh, a lot of people say, how do you program your solo? What works where and how? Um, basically, look, the different charge controllers work absolutely fantastic together. Like this one here, you see, it's producing more power than it's using, so it's actually charging the batteries as well. All right, and the same on this unit. And that's, uh, but these are designed, these are programmed to use the solar first and only put any leftover current so there's three kilowatts between these units and the house isn't drawing anywhere near that and so it's powering the inverters and putting the excess amps into the batteries and this one here it's putting the excess amps into the batteries and the same as this one here And of course, I can uh, go online now that I've got this and see what the system's doing. Um, which is pretty fantastic. I can't wait to get this finished with the uh, changeover, automatic changeover switch and the um, AC monitor. Get that all working as well. That's going to be absolutely brilliant. So that's my morning temperature, it's nearly 30 degrees already and it's, I don't know, um, 8.45, what's the time? 9 o'clock. So it's 9 o'clock and it's already on 30 degrees Celsius. It's going to be a warm one today people. Okay, keep safe everyone. Um, I hope that answered a few questions with wire sizing and everything else like that um, I always do the math before I wire anything and and, uh, and I'll always look at the rating of different wires Peace out.